In chapter two, I will compare the weight loss procedures that we offer in our program. The three procedures that we offer in our program include the gastric bypass, the sleeve gastrectomy, and the adjustable gastric band. Let's compare the three procedures that we offer in our program. First, we have the gastric bypass. This procedure offers three tools that aid in weight loss. The first tool is restriction, and this is physically limiting the size of your stomach so that you get fuller on smaller amounts of food. The next tool is hormone changes. Our stomach secretes a hormone called ghrelin. It makes us feel hungry. And due to the changes in your anatomy with this procedure, its ability to make this hormone is decreased. Many patients have stated that they feel significantly less hunger after surgery due to this tool. The final tool for the gastric bypass is malabsorption. This happens due to the first third of the small intestine being rerouted, so you're not able to absorb as many calories out of your food as you could before surgery. Due to all three tools working together, the gastric bypass historically has produced the best weight loss of all the procedures. Next is the adjustable gastric band. This procedure offers one tool, which is restriction. The band is placed on the upper portion of the stomach, which will physically limit how much food will fill you up. Due to only having one tool versus two or three, the band produces slower and less weight loss on average when compared to the gastric bypass or the sleeve. And finally, we have the sleeve gastrectomy. This procedure offers two tools, both restriction and the hormonal changes as discussed with the gastric bypass. Average weight loss with the sleeve is typically a little bit less than the gastric bypass, but more than with the band. For choosing the right surgery, you may already be leaning one way or another toward a certain procedure, and that's perfectly fine. Do as much research as you can and educate yourself as much as possible on each of the three options. It's important to remember that no matter what procedure you end up having, weight loss surgery is only a tool to help you with weight loss and weight maintenance. It's not going to do it for you. The final decision will be made when you meet with your surgeon at your surgeon consult to decide what procedure you would end up having. There are many factors used, including your medical history, to determine which procedure would be the best for you. It is important to keep an open mind going into this appointment and having this discussion with your surgeon.